I'm Ellie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers, and I'm going to show you how to use the Cinch book binding tool to create your own journal or planner. What I love about the Cinch tool is that it has a strap that holds the bar down for easy storage. You've got all of your instructions and measurement guide right here on the board, so that makes crafting really easy. It also comes with an instruction booklet that has more detailed instructions. And then if you turn the the um, tool around, you've got the cinching feature in the back here to bind your wires when you're ready to make your book. We're going to make a journal. I like for each new year, I like to create a goal journal, someplace where I can record my thoughts, my to-do lists, my ideas. Um, so this is what I call my make it happen journal for 2020. Um, and it's got a, an etched plastic cover that we're going to make with the etch quill and then it's got dividers and lined paper inside pockets for storing ephemera. I like to have it with me when I'm um, out and about so I wanted a cover that was going to be waterproof and that was going to be sturdy to keep my pages protected. So let's go ahead and start making the covers. Um, we're going to use the etch quill and in the etch quill kit um, there are four by six plastic pieces that come in there. Um, and so what I've done is I've placed one on my cutting mat. There are um, thin plastic um, protective covers that you have to remove um, before you use it. You're going to want to leave the back one on and take the front one off before you etch. And then once we remove this from the mat, we'll take the back one off. All right, so I've got um, a design from the Heidi Swap Foil Quill USB drive that I'm going to etch onto my cover. I've got my etch quill in here with the A adapter for Silhouette because that's the type of machine I have. You don't need any power, so that's kind of nice, no plugs to worry about. It just etches the design into your plastic. All right, so now that the machine is done etching the design, we're going to unload this and take a look and see how it turned out. And I'm going to put this piece of paper behind so you can see, but look how cool that is. So you have a nice clear cover that's protecting your paper, but it's got a really nice etched design in there. I'm going to scoot this out of the way and we're going to pull the cinch over. We're going to open it up. And according to instructions, our book is four by six. So we look at six inches tall, and that tells us to pull out peg number 12. So we're gonna pull that out, and that just makes sure that we don't have an extra half of a hole at the top and that all the holes are nicely centered on the book. So we're going to take the cover, and we're gonna put this in using this alignment right here, alignment guide, press it up all the way against the back, and then I'm gonna hold it with this hand and push down with this hand and make sure this hand's flat so that the lever doesn't hit your hand. And the cool thing about this tool is that all of these punches go down at separate times, different times. So that takes the pressure off. So the lever is really easy to push down um, and it turns out perfectly every time you've got your holes perfectly centered and ready to go. Um, now, let me just let you know, um, this is a powerful punch. So I've used thin wood. Um, you can use bookboard, chipboard. I've done 20 sheets of 20 pound paper all at the same time. So it's really a powerful punch. And then once you've finished punching the holes, there's a little tray back here that you can remove and you can throw those away. Or if you want, you can save them for confetti. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's move the cinch out of the way for a minute and talk about the inside pages and the cover, the covers. Um, so what I did is I, I'm backing my cover with a solid piece of kind of darker um, cardstock, and I need to make sure that it's kind of saturated because that way the etch design will show really well. Then after that, I've got some line paper, I've got some dividers, um, and if you look at the completed album that I have, or the completed um, journal that I have here, you can see I did on my cover, I did two, two sheets of paper, the cardstock plus some pattern paper because I wanted it to be a little thicker. You can do that or not either way. I also made some dividers with tabs and I used the works all in one tool to do that. You could use the um, tab um, punch board, you can use the tab punch itself. Um, and then I also made some pockets 
with the pocket maker punch board on these dividers. So there are a lot of options to add to your inside pages. Um, so what you're going to do when you've completed all your inside pages and your covers is you're going to line them all up perfectly. Um, and one quick tip with the paper, I just took some lined paper, which you can get, you know, when it's back to school sale time, and I trimmed it down to three and three quarters inches by six inches so that the paper is just a little smaller than the divider, so you can easily find the section you're looking for. All right, so we've got this all together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my back cover and my back dashboard, and I'm going to bring them to the front. Okay, and we're going to line them up. So that's how you're going to order things. Back cover, front cover, and then all your inside pages in the order you want them to be in. So once I've done that, we're going to come over to the board and I'm going to take my wire. Now I'm using the new blue wire. Um, this is the 5 8 inch wire and beautiful blue colors. And this, this is some new cinch wire. And there's lots of different colors and sizes of cinch wire. So I'm going to take my piece. I trimmed it down um, and I cut um, it's so that there were the same number of prongs right here as there are holes in my pages. So let me do this one more time, make sure everything's lined up. And then my wire is going to go right here on these pegs on the side. That is so handy. I love that. You can just put that there so that you can put your pages and covers on and it makes it really easy. Let's turn this around. We're going to go to the back to the cincher here and I can adjust my size. You can do 3 8 inch all the way up to 1 and a quarter inch cinch wire back here. I've got it set at the 5 8 setting and you just adjust it by pushing down and turning the knob. Then what I'm going to do is my wires are shaped like a C and I want my C to be straight up and down and flush against the back of the tool and not at an angle. So that way my shape is nice and pretty when I cinch it. And then you're going to want to get your fingers out of the way and press down using the same lever and you've cinched your wires. And here's the trick. This is the back cover and we're just going to flip it over and that hides the seam on the wire in the back of your book. So the rest of your book looks nice and neat and tidy. This is a really easy and fun project to do. It makes great gifts for teachers or for friends. Um, I've made notebooks for my kids, agendas for their school classes, um, but make yourself a 2020 goal planner to make it happen in the coming new year. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers. Thank you.